Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, Session 54. I'm Ryan, the GM. It's the 18th of May, 2020. Please don't ask any more questions. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Colin. He's I'm one of my players. Playing. I am. I'm one of the players in this game. Um, all the world just... No. Uh, yeah, so, hi. I'm Colin. I'll be playing Lyco Quint. He is a uh, noted space cop, formerly. Uh, coast to coast. Um, the world is a vampire. Yeah, uh, other other catchphrases are available. Um, yeah, sneaky, spooky, altogether cookie. Uh, former steward. I pass you now on to the voice of feminism, Nico. I am the voice of feminism. feminism. I am war. War is me. War is war. And I am Nico. I am playing Zora, the best card. Greetings. I am Alex, and I play weird, a slightly spiritual, slightly mechanical mechanic for all <coughs> your space fitting needs. He is here to help you whatever it is, change one of those space tires or something. Hello. Oh, you're having the trouble now. Oh no. Oh, yes, no. I passed it on. Are mm -hmm. you receiving no. a text underneath your recording okay. device yeah. or something? You shouldn't have watched that VHS I sent you. <laughs> Seven days. <laughs> oh, don't get me into my views in the film versus no. look at that. No. Hello? Hello? We've been down there before. Hello. Oh, my dad. Yeah, okay. You are wow. dead. You are speaking. Oh no, he's oh, got. Hello. Oh no, he's what? not. Wow. Hello. No. What? Hello. It's getting worse. What mic is this? He isn't aware now. <laughs> what have I done? What have Should we put down a benefits switch, concert? Switch one? your mic again. <laughs> switch it back. You have a distant mic. <laughs> Shit, we can't put on a benefits call, uh, concert. Oh I'm God, no. Well. Um. <laughs> <sighs> we'll go to Texas, right? Why don't yep. every, everybody else should just do their intro for Callum, right? So, Colin, give me your best Callum. Hi, intro. he's Callum. Um, I can't do his voice because it's uh, it's you know, it's a bit, you know, a uh, bit more. I don't want to call it femme, but you know, a <laughs> little, bit, little higher pitch, a little more, you know. Okay. Does he play He's back though. Hello. 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 Hey. Save us from Colin's Hi. version of your intro. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> no, let's Hi. let's ha no, let's have oh, that, please. I'm going to try to be Bob Blaine and Sultan for the game. <laughs> let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm here for that voice. Let's go for it, Alex. Please give us the whole intro if you can. Continue. Hi guys, I'm Callum, and I play Zig, the spooky mystical space rat from the sun. Wow, amazing. I, I didn't know it. Callum was South African. <laughs> yeah, that's the character. Yeah, <laughs> see, this is the things you learn. You know, Nico, have you got a version of Callum's <sighs> intro? You this I don't know, man. I, I don't like insult him. <laughs> Nico, we all know it. Just Hello, I'm uh, Callum. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm Callum, and I'm playing Zig, the mystical space rat from the sun. Callum, you do your Callum. Hi there! <laughs> I'd like to inform you that I um, will be resigning my post here. Uh, and <laughs> Me too, it's been a good run. see what I have to work with? No, okay. What, um, what yes, I, I'm the best I'll be playing, I'll I'll be playing the, the mystical space right from the sun! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, Prayer no, point, brain point. jank, murderer, uh, you've got it all. You want it, I got it. I don't know, seriously, though, since you're quitting, though, like, who's, who's going, to, going to be a replacement? I mean, Alex? I mean... Um... <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, oh, do you want know. to try doing an introduction for Callum? Oh, that'd be so good. She says no. Sorry. Oh, no! Got this. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I apologise for my absolutely terrible impersonation. Not I didn't even problem. try and impersonate you, I just said your voice was too high-pitched to do... And uh, Actually, you said it was femme. Okay, yeah, you did. I did. I may have used the term femme, but I, I did. I said sort of like because that's not a very apt description because I've probably come across more effeminate than you a lot of the time. Uh, you know, uh, I don't this know. Maybe, maybe in demeanor, but not in register. <laughs> you know what? I'll take that. I like that. Thank you. 
I, I too will apologize for my impression. I just, I was taking more okay. dicks at Why, why you, I've week, never so. had so many apologies in my life. Keep this. I like this. <laughs> Nico, it's your week next I, week. I think Callum oh, has well. because your life was to the pot. Wow, that's harsh. Um, oh, wow. Oh, nice oh. Calm, you know, sometimes. I had to balance it, you know. <laughs> there must always be balance. Do you still want to quit, Callum? <laughs> oh, dear. I, I, don't, I don't think I could quit if I wanted to. <laughs> nah, like, that's, that's the great self. Oh, it's like for drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Hey, I get quoted from RP shit all the time, man, so it's fine, man. It's true. Get impersonated all the time. <laughs> People do really. To be fair, really there's no there's, there's hiding it. Like, not at all. <laughs> there's there's <laughs> 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 oh. like, I, I don't know how many fucking times I heard that before I even knew what it referred to. <laughs> 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 uh, you probably even heard it before you even met me. <laughs> We'd be surprised. Oh. Mm. Uh. I did. <laughs> yes, Cal did. I, yes. I heard it a lot before I even knew any of it. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Like, so to be honest, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Cal's like essentially starstruck the first time you speak to him, and I'm just like, oh. ready. I'm like, why? <laughs> this like, man knows oh. me without me even knowing him. Like, oh, Andor. Oh. <laughs> yep. This is the yep. Here, that's, if, that's actually what happened. If people that was wish Callum's to, impression of Callum. If people wish to uh, see the wonderful adventures of Vandar, the audio is also on my channel at www.youtube.com forward slash Victor Triumph uh, under yeah! the shadows of the light. Yes. So definitely no Jedi. <laughs> I I guess I'll just give out a uh, Jonathan F did an art as well again since he made the effort of messaging me saying he'd listened to the first 17 minutes when we call out people for listening to the first 17 minutes of our bullshit so we've somehow managed to get it down wow. to 7 minutes today Wow, that's alright, yeah efficiency despite us starting an hour late and um I don't know it's if we can... oh my god it's yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, the only difference <laughs> is you just hit record or record later than yeah. last yes. time that is still valid because it's what the public see and hear. Okay, so, yeah. well, yes. I mean, it's probably best if you to want the full pre-game from... conversation, just um, subscribe to subscribe to my OnlyFans. There we go. Mm. It's just a subsidiary of my Patreon, so please do so. Mm. <laughs> Send pop bitches. Uh, meanwhile, in this game, now that we've done the intro somehow, uh, what do people remember from last time? Uh. The world is a vampire, and uh, I probably there did was... say that last time. To be fair, uh, uh, <laughs> maybe uh, there there was a lady in blue armor. Don't be sexist. Not dressed, um, and don't, don't she did sexist. some she did some shooting, and it was towards our general direction. And uh, may or may not, I can't quite remember the details. Of shot some undead who were uh, immediately between us and the uh, the. The, the unsub who did proceed to fire upon our position forthwith. I don't know why. I do Is there that. any I more know. other than just literally the ending 10 second description? I, I got new <laughs> armor, which was quite <laughs> um, I, uh, I went, I went into, I went into what I would describe as a mind bubble and got new armor. Um, Dectalanus is trying to fucking take over the universe using the Vesk as mm -hmm. a white mm -hmm. idiot. Uh, uh, yeah. Fucking... What, what's on the what's on the name again? Starts with an M. Uh, Ram doesn't even start with an M. It's an R. <laughs> <laughs> you got uh, Dectalanus, but you never got Ramus. <laughs> don't fucking ask. Okay, my names. I'm, I don't do names well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a safe who told us all this. Why else did you say? That was, that was gen the gen general gist of what it was. Like, she wanted to tell us. She wanted to know if we were, like, willing to help. It with it. Why? Yeah, well, we went to go to the, uh, get the space phylactery for. Um, oh, yes, yes, that's India, exactly why um, we really the ones to do it. Yes, yes. In order to bring him back and stop the machinations of um, a tectonic event. Tectolanus. Um, <laughs> um, 
yeah, maybe so Alistair Brand, the electro, I'm not sure. Like the electroencephalon of Sindel, yes. Uh, um, does that literally just mean the electric brain? It sounds like it might. Like, cephalo is like to do with head. Cephalo's head, right? Encephalo... Mm. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so so we need to go into not the vault, the ar- archive. The archive, yep. Okay. And meet the archivist, which mm-hmm. um, isn't the vault or the vault guardian. Not luckily. the vault or the vault guardian, <laughs> but close enough to give us like the sweats. Yep, yep. Um, maybe just Callum the sweats more than Zig, to be honest. Not maybe. really, really Callum. Yeah, I think Zig's kind of <laughs> gone. It's a muggy day. A muggy day. Yeah, it is a muggy um, day. I don't know if that applies up to Stornoway, but you know. Um, eh. Nobody knows. Ah, what else happened? Well, obviously we went there to the to the ship mm-hmm. in order to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I acted as like a a spirit guide of sorts. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, fuck! I forgot. I just bring it back. <laughs> Hello, default ringtone. <laughs> That's my ringtone too. You know why? Because I can't be fucked changing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anything else that came up then? Or is that the gist? CC was quite upset. Mm-hmm. I remember. Mostly um, just screaming at Zora. Yeah. Mm. Because of it's the, like, the brain talking. Like a cat, mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, well, you have to like part, cat, so yeah. Yeah. Cats are great. Scaramanders are difficult. Uh, more difficult than cat. Um, it's the extra hands, you see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's also the, the, the sort of, of like sets of them, for mm-hmm. God's sake. The, the the sort of almost the promise of understanding, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like they do understand you, and they know that they can make themselves understood to you. Uh, but on the other hand, they're not going to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of the time. Where, at least with cats, um, any suspicions of whether or not we actually understand each other is purely rumour and mm-hmm. conspiracy. Like you can tell when it's doing an angry face, but that's about it. Yeah. That's why it's called Conspiracy Craig, right? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's interesting that he would choose that as his own moniker. I feel like that's like he's reclaiming the word. I think so as well, I'll be honest. I think he read that enough in regards to his work that, that just he just assumed that's what his name was. So Is Craig a Scaramander name? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I mean it might just be one of those coincidental things, like you know how Hannah is a Japanese name as well as like a Jewish name. Mm-hmm. Um, just like Medkit is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Medkit is uh, I believe uh, Peruvian and uh <laughs> French, so and that's just total coincidence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, weird. Anything else they've missed, or are they good? Oh, I think we're good. Is that just hope, mostly, or? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> it sounds like hope, to be honest. I, I think like... we are chaotic neutral. Uh, that's bold. Um, I, that's, that's what my alignment is. Why even just have the neutral in there? I feel chaotic covers it. Um, no, because no, I mean, no, no, no. I mean, I think neutrally. We're, we're not. We're not. We're not good guys. We're not bad guys. We're not against the law, but we're not really. You know, we're, 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 we don't stick within its bounds, but we're not like actively ah, anarchy. But you know, See, I like um, to think of myself as not a criminal, but I'll wreck yeah. the place. I think that's the chaotic side. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think weird is good. I think he, he he's a good person who is in a line of work that requires him to be a bit more flexible than he would otherwise be. I would yeah, put next into chaotic good because he tries he sets fucking self destructs like instantly. <laughs> <laughs> that's solved the issue. I wouldn't necessarily say that's considered chaotic at this stage. I would say that's his code of honor. You know, yeah, so I think he's maybe. Lawful, chaotic, good, because it's of like, that. yeah, it's it's like Android Stepaker. Yeah, right. It's like well, He's I, see, yeah, I, I see no way out of this, so we must explode the place. That's the only way out. It's the um, <laughs> IG11, right? <laughs> yeah, 
This yep. is the way to solve this equation. Yes, I would like to be self destruct. There is no equation. <laughs> but he's a good guy. <laughs> yes, and trying to picture the truth. There is no equation. He tried, he tried his best, like with that guy who did a bit of murder. He tried to calm him down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and to be honest, I think manslaughter is a fair cop there. Like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. There should be the only a trying there. alignment. Mm -hmm. Yes, trying. trying. Yes, we're trying. Yes. Do you trying. know what? I think if you're sincerely trying to be in alignment, unless you somehow dramatically fuck up, probably are that alignment. You'd be surprised. I'm not trying to be chaotic what? neutral, and I don't even think I am chaotic neutral. Um, I just put it down because I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> I went for neutral because I don't think Lyco really gives a shit. I think if it was on the the t-shirts, you know, with a uh, you know the I'm his and I'm hers type backs to them, it would be chaotic and neutral with CC and Zora walking away from the camera. Uh, mm -hmm. To be honest, so on you know, that, like little on that baby note, carrier. Yeah, just one of those backpack things. Only on the front, obviously, so the hands uh -huh. can grab at things. Um, front pack. Let's look at goals, shall we? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. seem to have one. But mm, me neither. Uh, well, my fault. Are we still happy to try and pursue goal one? No, 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 Nico. <sighs> what do you think? Do you think there's actually much scope to pursue this goal? I was honestly waiting for it. What do you think, folks at home? <laughs> uh, do you Vote now on your number, yeah. <laughs> I think it might be time to bail in that one. Because it does like every time we've tried it. In fact, I mean, I, but I generally think the most suitable source of income is literally walking up to weird and going where the f no expletives, uh, <laughs> where is a uh, shipwreck or something? You know, like yeah. I mean, if you, know you want from... to do that, because I I did want to purchase some new stuff. Uh, I think we all did. I don't know if we all did. I yeah, didn't buy, did not buy anything. Uh, I have not yet because I had no money and making my money, money in the order to have right. good. I'm going to keep it. Device. I'm going to yeah. keep it. I'm going to approach fair. weird. I'm going to approach weird and say like, you, you know this planet? Surely so, there's like something let, that we can. Let me yeah. just weigh on in this goal a little then, right? See that every time we try to do it, ellipsis never quite got finished sentence. Part of that explanation mm -hmm. you had there. I feel like you were left. With up to like an hour of free time, and you spent money on the Venda Church meeting. So don't you start with the any time I, I try was, and do this. <laughs> I, I was he, to be fair, he was trying to find a job at the church. Yes, and then I got locked in. Well, not locked in, but you know, you, you know. didn't get locked in. CC ripped the cable up because it was shiny. <laughs> <laughs> but I was attempting to get a job there, okay, and then it didn't work. A brick wall, just yeah, like a you go, it, person you go to too. Hive Market, an actual hive of scum in villainy, and you go to the church. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. because Michael went to the scum in villainy, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you still haven't done anything for that guy yet. Uh, I mean, do we, we can do something if though? we want to. I mean, very vague you do have to. someone in your party, he probably would want. We don't know that though. Not yet. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna meta betray my boy. <laughs> I mean, I'm just thinking it could be the old Chewbacca with the the binders trick, you know? It's Chewbacca in this <laughs> sense. Yeah, you, have you not put it together weird. yet? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Remember um, yeah. the the next new new rats. The new junk rats, them. Yep. Remember that thing. So that's like, remember, they pissed yeah. off. Uh, they would I, I remember that part. I remember that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 as soon as you said next, I remembered all. Yeah. Weird. Uh, not next. I mean, we could try that. It seems like it's a bit needlessly risky. Uh, oh, hundred percent. Hundred percent. I'm just saying, if you wanted could... immediate income, sell next. Yeah. But because uh, it would need to be next, weird, not weird. Remember, I feel like weird approach. connections to find out who else he might want. Um, I don't feel weird's going to be particularly eager to sell out his former buddies, but you know, maybe there'll be some acquaintance from time gone by that he'll know, some old acquaintance, uh, <laughs> and uh, perhaps we could perchance to uh, you know sell them to the right. bad guy. I've got a good idea that then actually, like, I suppose, I mean, it might not work, 
it's it's getting worse as the time goes on. <laughs> I mean, it, it just goes back to weird again, but I mean, maybe Weird's old crew has some. I mean, so I what? think that's definitely an art. Money. Uh, maybe they've got lots of money and they're going to give it to me. <laughs> Sure. Uh, you, d you never know. <laughs> you could could have money. Um, so goal one. Are we going to progress with goal one? I'll keep it for this session, and if it's not looking like it's likely by the end of this one, I'll just ditch it. But I'll try and I'll I'll I'll, I'll see what happens. Okay. I'll poke poke the the weird and be like, do you know anything? Okay. Not to like spoiler bomb what's going to happen this session, you know. <laughs> wow. Goal <laughs> two. Wow. Goal <laughs> two. Wow. Uh, Game umbreros. That one's kind of still based on what's happening with the queen. Which okay. we're going to have to deal with at some point, so we may as well keep it in there. Cool. Uh, yeah. Do you feel like, does MDLs have perhaps a replacement for it in the meantime? Because do you feel the queen's going to come up this session? I feel like we might not be able to get to that this session. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do kind of have a gap in the goal, so if we're going to have any new priorities, we should insert them into that before we start chucking out other ones that we could conceivably maybe get to. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So we'll get goal three, it's just been modified slightly. So. What about the Mumbereros? Well. <laughs> Want to talk us through goal three? You do. We do. It's gone. It's gone. I'm right. really glad I thought I was maybe yeah. scored being gone there for a second. He yeah. <laughs> wants to meet up with uh, some new metal rats. Yes. He wants the to meet up rats. with some junkie. Mm. Do we have <laughs> Alex still? To hook up with some new metal groupies. <laughs> That's yes. Sorry, yes. Yes. Yeah, so uh, okay, I'm glad you agree. Let's talk us through goal three. We're gonna meet up with the Jew, the new junk rats, the Jew nunk rats. Yep. <laughs> the <laughs> Fu Man Chu, the uh, Blue Man group, the Nun Chunk the, Nuns. The Gilbert Gottfried yep. of. Um, oh. I'm doing so, really well today. It's fine. It's okay. uh, we're, we're, I mean, we're still about eighty percent mm -hmm. caliber of normal game. What is well? Board. I mean. Yep. So, uh, right, uh, are we looking to progress with hooking up with the new junk rats? I feel like they'd be useful for whatever our mission is. <laughs> That's so yeah. confident. <laughs> whatever it is what we're meant to be doing, could they maybe do it for us? We're going we're gonna to go and steal money. Yeah, we're just outsourcing, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Outsourcing is good. That... These guys are good at stealing shit. And mm. they would be really keen to steal shit. Mm. So, you know, why not use those resources? Yeah, sure. Well, you see a friend. Yeah. And they might know where somewhere we can get paid as well. <laughs> Two for one. Yes. <laughs> and if it comes to it, we could maybe give them. You know what? They can, <laughs> they can establish how healthy boundaries for. Yes. Maybe one's a they psychologist. Like... <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> goal four. Yes. Now, this is where Colin promised to have spent the week thinking about it. I promised to think about it, and I did uh, think about it, uh, and found that were I those was thoughts not... the last minute. Of this no, chat? they were. They may have been shorter than I perhaps could have been with them. You know, I, I could maybe have dwelt on that a bit more. But I'll be honest with you, I have no fucking idea. Um, what about maybe like now that you know so much shit that's gone on with the background? Is that not like enough information to go back to Mister Fucking Babak way or something? Because have you done that yet? No, no, I have not. informed him of everything that's going on. Is that not? But that Everton means or? going to versus, or yeah, which space is... phoning him, which or be getting good. Craig to, you know, make a call. Mm. I don't know if I want to send that information. I think that's something I would prefer to do with uh, more face to face. I'm, um, I'm open to suggestions, guys, because I'm really. But then, I'm not sure. That was my suggestion. I've got no idea. <laughs> no, 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 I take that as a valid one. I just don't think it's immediate. Yeah, yeah, oh, I did get you there. Depends how immediate getting Ivan well. is, right? Because that's where like, Versus has a I mean, I won't get I, I, residual I won't get plot. Yeah. There is. There's a lot of residual uh, plot energy. Um, mm -hmm. Over Versus. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so, I mean, it's definitely something that, you know, maybe next objective I could look at, but I do feel like something more immediate. That's why I'm not saying something like, oh, you know, go and, go and get uh, the space factory for uh, Sindel, because obviously I had a bit of a lower bomb last week regarding him and his mm-hmm. creation of the Barai. Uh, <laughs> that's that's definitely important to, to Lyco. Duh. I mean, mm, yeah, no shit. Uh, but but having said that, it's also not the most pressing. It's the long term goal at the moment. Oh yeah. no, sorry, it's the mid it's the mid term goal, right? The long term goal is stop bad energy Ilibrian Urgalas. Urgalas, yeah. Stop uh, Urgalas. And the also, you know, stop galactic war or whatever. Uh more like solar war, right? Like, um, but yes, stop, stop, stop civil war in the system. Stop. No, it's not a system the, Two the... systems. Right, two different star systems, but they're not different galaxies, are they? Well, intergalactic. They're in their different solar systems. That'd be intragalactic. Uh, um, Cross system battle. <laughs> Seems like a fucking mode where you can play Xbox players. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> Not that Sony would sign up for that. I think Nintendo do it. Uh, anyway, other but no, I, I, I think it also exist. Yeah. Um, other other consoles may or may not exist. Um, it's a valid one, Callum. To be honest, isn't it? Like, yeah. Like, I mean, well, who's the real threat here? Yeah. Right. We've got. What's the end goal? Stop Urgalas, stop the Vesk, stop us. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. Right, well, okay, so currently, right, think of it this way. Ignoring, or maybe not ignoring, the hail of gunfire, right? I feel like that's something to respond to, but we'll go, go on. So, what is Lyco's most immediate thing you, as Lyco, would want to pursue slash resolve immediately. Yeah, I know. Specifically as Lyco, it's it's tough because I feel like I'm being a bit meta if I say like, oh, you know, get armed for my you know new mission or whatever. Um, I don't think that's that meta. No, like if you no. think you're not equipped enough, that's valid, right? Like, find a way to get you know. I think yeah, the, the, phrase, uh, okay. the, phrase, the phrasing would be like you know, get. Comfortably prepare or suitably, for... oh yeah, prepare like prepare suitably for the mission towards the archive, right? Something like that. If that's the the mentality you were going for, that yeah. type of yeah, nothing wrong with that. Because that is a big deal to Lyco, right? And it should be for... something you're pursuing. Mission. To... I would say mission to Eox. Just I mean, yes, that's what right. it is. Well, you know, shit's yeah. going to happen. So yeah, like, and you also know almost that... stuff's about to go down. Like... Suitably is maybe like um. Hmm. Maybe not the exact right term, but I think uh, when I you tell me you're happy to undergo the mission, I think is um what we call suitably, right? Um, it is a bad word. You're correct because when you get there and you'll die, that's not, yeah, I mean, it's not it's suitable. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's how, how, it sort of requires. I a bit think of it goes down to the same idea though. When you said to, like gain allies, and yada, yada, yada. once you get the allies, it doesn't mean the betray. It right. doesn't mean you see. Do so I, uh, what I think he'd be looking to do then is really just gear up. He's mm-hmm. already made a nice little step in that direction. He will need new weapons and stuff. And it, but... it might also expand to the group, right? Because really it is a group goal, right? Because they're all group goals. Mm-hmm. And primarily it is oh, get nice. every day geared up to be able to push the button on the mission, right? That's it. That's what he's want to do. He's wanna because say... that'll probably include on the part of... I mean, uh, what, what was what was her name in uh, the Vesk that you talked to, Nico? I mean, you might want to go oh, back and, and, and contact his, his oh, boss. Oh, fucking name, my game. Matva. Uh, Matva, yes, yeah. thank you. Um, I mean, don't forget as well is that I've got a fucking fully armed Vesk gunboat that's probably got weapons and armor in it as well, but yeah. we've not even looked at yet. We've not even been inside that thing, essentially, yet. Like... <laughs> Because I think that there's definitely stuff we could all do still to prepare for this. Um, I think I would I would put preparing for this ahead of like you know chasing up loose ends because I think then we kind of I think we'd end up you know, side switch, side, like, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying that stuff in versus and what have you doesn't matter. It does, but I think like mm -hmm. I think we need to be in a position where we feel like if so, we go to versus, we can go I there. I think we would go to versus. Like, it's where we're marketed. We that, I guess. See if everybody looks at the map, right? The main screen, the title screen, right? If everybody can have yeah. a nosy at that, right? So let's uh -huh. have a look. Let's have a look at this, right, as a group. Okay. So if I have a look, so I can Eat. see all the planets, right? The sun has some plot to resolve, right? That's it. Because of Zig. And Zig's plan mostly seems to be face this way and deal with this. Deal with Alia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is fine. So that stuff that's on in, ongoing, right? Zig and the Radiant Supreme have a whole bunch of shit to deal with. <laughs> Zog. And, uh, Zog. Oh, Lafia Zog. The sun. Um, and then you've got <laughs> you've got obviously the egg, right? That was here, right? The one that you took from back in time. Anyone who hasn't caught up or paid attention to the previous episodes, uh, good luck, man. Honestly, like <laughs> <laughs> have egg. fun with that shit. <laughs> so, uh, we haven't really kept up back in time in the present or in the future, so we're just dealing with it as and when we can. Right, so that's here. Let's jump out to. Uh, Abalone. Nothing. There's nothing to worry oh. about. Right? It's great. Let's, in fact, take everything to Abalone so we can just start a new game. Right, let's just go to Abalone and then we can live really good lives. I can retire finally. Z right. Zora can finally retire and be the laughing lizard. Right. So there we go. <laughs> right. Abalone. The only thing we've really got there is Lyco hated living here. Yeah. That's it. And... Well, he it is a maybe a little strong. He, he did not yeah. I didn't feel in place. Plus Yeah, he was he was he was pleased to be gone. We've also got probably one of the earlier Nixes was probably spent time on Abalone, right? I feel like that was a thing that happened in one of the earlier yeah. Nixes. Then we've got next over Castravel, right? It's where a lot of Emlyn's plot was. But for the most part there is the big empty palace. Right. And unless we might go like fucking recreate the Drow Empire in Castroville or some shit like <laughs> so no. <laughs> or just start a base on that hidden island. Yeah. Right. But with, with ghosts. Well enough, we need that ghosts in a dungeon full of dragon bones, yeah. So there's that. Would you say dungeons and dragons? No. I I'm, I no. might ghosts, dungeons and dragons. I think we did that before. <laughs> so that's a thing. Then Absalom is exploded. So that's just a wreckage field. God. Right? So that's a, it's a bad. And then we've got where all the plot currently has been, right? And there's loads still... Also, congrats whoever said fuck it to buy it's amazing. Um, <laughs> I just love the thick of it so much. Um, <laughs> why isn't Michael Tucker doing the intro for our games, right? <laughs> Previously, oh, in space things. <laughs> fuck it to buy. <laughs> oh, it's his description of Star Wars, but anyway. Oh, yeah, They're all Lego. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that is a good moment. It's glorious. Um, anyway, so Akaton, we've got the Azure Flyers above here, we've got the Drow Queen and the weird Drow fighting pit rage problems, we've got Daza possibly the third egg we've got the, maybe the first egg, I guess, here Which would you say was the deepest right? <laughs> the third one and then the the first egg being the, the solar egg probably if we go with that, right? Solar Void and I guess mm. rad, as Nico called it last time. Rad. Um, the rad egg. Um, <laughs> so we've got, rad, man. We've got that. Rad. Edgar Weslin seems to be here. There seems to be a mysterious blonde woman here. There seems to be Nix's old crew here. There seems to be Ramasethu here. Conspiracy Craig is here. Right? There's a lot here. We've got Grinning Derwa here. So, there's a lot going on. On Akaton. And the final hour is supposedly in orbit as well, right? So, uh, unless thingy meant the Azure Flare. So that... That is a lot. Then if we go to... Versus. We've got the Vesk seem to have claimed 
verses. We've got the steward seem to be operating from there. We've got the eleventh hour dock there. We've got Ivan there. We've got Carhol the there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, lizard scum and pigs. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, I think that was uh... a <laughs> shit. I've forgotten the guy's name. <sighs> but, <sighs> but yeah, so there's a lot on verses, right? There's also that thing that when we discovered Zig's the main bad guy. Um, when he irradiated people, that's a thing. We've mm. got mm. just coming big. This is a Bukowski book. There you go. There we go. We've got the Adari, right? Where nothing seems to really be happening, other than that random report, like I read about people wanting the Adari to function as another Absalom in the interim, right? Until they can get a new Absalom. You've then got the Diaspora. But they don't. And who the fuck knows what's happening there? Because that's where pirates. You used to st- possible buff place of a Librian. <laughs> I <laughs> have been to the diaspora and fought pirates. Use you have been to the diaspora. Use took Alice from the diaspora. Yeah, use, diaspora for Baskerville. Use woke up Urgalas, and also there is a or at least witnessed him. A Lyco has time warped back there again. Um, the diaspora itself also had the Drow throne ship that was raided to go get Zig um, I'm swell Heroic. Yeah. and then further out Eox remember that place where the entire population vacated and went to Absalom yep Yeah. because of Urgalas so that's a thing and then Use of now we want to go there and somehow overcome the archivist and get the electroencephalon of a, uh, you know, Sindiel and do something with it, right? Triaxis, <laughs> of course, has a number of forces positioned around. So the moment. Triaxis, you've learned that this is where Tectalanus and. Uh, Demolgia, sure. Currently. He's learned that last time. And, again, this seems to be where they want to be building New Absalom. Because the dragons offered to pay for it. As per the stuff Lyco read. And then there's everything about Humani, right? Yeah. So that's a thing. We've then got Leavara, Bertheda, Aposte, all so nice and quiet, right? And then nobody speaks about Octon. No, no, no. The beautiful Octon, the stranger. Should be going down in Octon. Yeah. But nobody yeah. knows what. Nobody's. Yeah. It's. Whenever it is, it's definitely not sleeping. I thought I said quiet place, and I was like, that's a good tune. But no. mm-hmm. So, <laughs> that was just to try and give you a bit of scope of where the weight of plot lies in the galaxy, right? So let's go back <laughs> to goals, shall we? So I reckon it will probably not going to go made everything to worse. Until we're <laughs> like, probably... now I'm overloaded. I've gone from having no plan to, I got just... I... Anyway. Don't worry. I think... I have helpfully annotated it for you. Mm-hmm. There is a, a clear path, uh, which is to finish up what business we can here, mm-hmm. and we might be able to because I can waltz up to, to Bob and go, "Look, behold my resplendent tech," mm-hmm. and then he'll go, <laughs> and might perhaps be inclined to offer some sort of uh, deal on the promise of future wares, which we will not provide. Mm-hmm. Um, Next, we would have verses, obviously. Where I don't I, know, man. I don't even know if next would be verses. Harshing like, my chill. Right, so what's next then, Nico, if you're volleying into the, the, the discussion, right? Right, right. right, right. I, 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 this is just too fucking, like, tinfoil hat, like, right, political so shit. Let's, right. So let's wait, wait, right. so wrap up a Akaton biz, right? I feel like we would want to go to verses, we would want to deal with that, I guess, right? And I feel like the best way to deal with Demogesh is to like 
get Tech Polaris out of the fucking picture. Right. Which means getting fucking Mr. Cindy. What's his face? Cindy. Back in order might be a good plan first, because that would weaken the position of Mr. Dimagish. I mean, they're both over there at the moment, so... <laughs> I mean, do we want to go and deal with that? Both over where? No, no, Tetalamis is at Triaxis. Yeah, to go to I think to get Sunday. what Colin is saying is they are on this one map close. Not that these rotate or anything, and are probably like yeah, how, like what, what, thousands of miles apart. Yeah. No, I mean like in terms of both of them. Yeah. Demogesh is currently whereabouts. Uh, yeah, Demogesh and Tetalana seem to be. On what I'm saying is Axis. that feels kind of walking into the belly of the beastie. But he doesn't want to go there, he wants to go to Eox. Yeah, I'm saying Eox. We, we release Deal with Sidiel, okay. so it's Sidiel. Right, so we can... Okay, no, sorry, yeah, I feel, I, I am sorry, my brain was... Sidiel uh, is the wedge between those two, and that's what okay. Zora wants. The I mean, you could disagree with that, I mean, I'm just... No, I, I think that's good idea, fair, but, 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 here's my concern. Uh... If we don't begin preparing for the problem of Demogesh before we start to handle Tectalanus, uh, then we're, we're, we're just left with, like, we've fixed a sort of packed roads problem, but maybe at cost. Mm, I do get you. I do get you there. But then maybe Cindy could help with the Vesk problem? Maybe. But I do agree with you. Like, uh, either or could work, I suppose. I was just thinking, maybe if we go to Versys, it's, everything's got to kick off with Dibogish. Okay, that's interesting, right? So let's let's hear what the rest of Colin's plan was, right? So, mm -hmm. hit us up, Lyco. We'll wrap up Akaton. It's next step. Head to Versys. Then we never hear from Colin ever again. I'm sorry, Colin! I agree with you fully. <laughs> <laughs> right, Callum, your best your best call impression, Callum. Right, finish the plan for us. <clears throat> we finished off Akaton and then we got reverse season. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking Gammy. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. I am. <laughs> Alex, I hope you're getting your RP fix elsewhere because uh, <laughs> it ain't uh, getting fixed here. <laughs> uh, it's alright. I've got about four other sessions a week. Oh, you, uh, you're, you're back now, yes. What right, happened? sorry. Having some internet issues? It's okay, so it's fine. What we did there was we said. I'm sorry, Colin's on the So we'll rewind back to wrap up business Nakaton. Let's go through the next steps of Lyco's plan. Uh, I think. So obviously the way it ended last session, the gunshot from blue armor, maybe blonde, be a completely different person coincidentally, blue armor. And, uh, that was something that you sort of lampshaded, like, mm, stewards wear blue armor, don't they? Uh, I right, lampshades a lot of stuff though. You know, we, to, we have to know, mislead. <laughs> I know, and that's, that's fair, but like, say we do discover, oh god, this is a steward, the stewards are sort of they think that we're up to something, or we're double crossing them, or whatever. Uh, we might need to smooth things out with stewards. We might need to enlist steward help. Uh, at the very least, I think we need to make them aware of just how fucked the situation is, because they might not know. They might not have people from the Viscarium willing to come forward and tell them things, right? They mm -hmm. might not have particularly good relations with the Bone Sages, yeah. uh, particularly cool. given the current you know, the current climate among the Bone Sages. Um, also, keep in mind what you learned about how a lot of people think a Bone Sage caused Absalom. Yeah, that's mm, that's fair. Um, and you can understand why people came to that conclusion given the, uh, the undead presence and how people reacted to it. So, I mean, it does seem to me that there's a lot that we could maybe do with bringing, like, say, Babak up to date with, mm -hmm. and maybe Matt, 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 Matt,
if if we can do that without causing issues, because I think do get very much get the feeling that it will be automatically an issue if we go back to verses even without the mortgage present. Mostly the stewards, because I got the impression of Matva and I, I left Matva with like it's best that she stay out of it. If you know what I mean. Yeah, like, no, that's right. Uh, I just reasons, think, like, mm-hmm. like, it might not be bad to do what you can to loop her in. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got stuff to collect from there. Um, we might be able to garner assistance from the stewards in some capacity. I doubt they'd be able to out and out help us because they wouldn't really come to us if they could have Don't felt like they could do it with them. So, exactly. Um, so I do wonder if there's maybe some surreptitious help, some information, uh, whatever, some skullduggery they could do uh, that might assist us. I don't, I don't know, but I definitely feel like we want to be making sure we're sort of we're, we're right with the uh, stewards before we... Uh, I've just tapped back in to Starfinder. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I think like we go to Versys, right? Okay, that lets us tie up some loose ends and clue in some potential allies who might otherwise get wrong impressions right, so uh, I'll pop that in, and so prevent I'll... further problems arising Head because of that. That's the next step in that, and that would be inform uh, Babak. Yeah, uh, inform Babak, uh, get her bits and bobs. Uh, and, right, we made a promise to the Queen, right? Mm-hmm. Now, we could perhaps introduce her to Matva, right? We could maybe introduce her to the stewards. Uh, Versus is a nice place with cool things, right? Mm-hmm. There's probably someone else out there we could find to not bum her off on, but like... Mm-hmm. We don't necessarily... I, I feel that because of sort of some of the recent issues, even without the fact of the radiation, she's maybe not someone we want to have around all the time. Mm-hmm. I think that's a fair assessment. Um, and uh, we can maybe find a way to like, oh, like we've introduced you to X and Y, and from here we can establish a meeting with Z. Um, I don't know that bringing her to Eox would be a great idea. So, I'm not saying we can sort of plunk her there, but it might be a good place for her to take her that might then be able to sort of help us decide where the hell we do drop her off. Um, from there, I think you're right. I think we deal with the Eox before we even consider going your Triaxis. And beyond that, like, I don't know, maybe we need to make a return journey to Eox because of our glass. Maybe maybe we shouldn't be going to Yox first because of our glass, but I feel like the ve- the impression we got was very much one of you're not going to be able to deal with Teflans directly, like head on. You're going to have to bring back Cindy L and let him deal with it. Well, not maybe let him deal with it, but whatever. Hope he deals with it. <laughs> um, I mean, like, I'm fair enough assessed in that. Um, I don't think it would do bad things for a reputation for us to be seen to be fighting against uh, a bone stage that was perhaps up to something. It might even just be something as simple as Ramaseth who's good at knowing the past and he was good at know like she did say, like he's the one that had yeah. foresight. So maybe yeah. she just doesn't like the fact that she doesn't know what's coming next, right? Yeah, that's fair. And uh and yeah. And like I obviously I have a personal stake in both mm-hmm. the stewards and the the eoxine side of things, I think okay, maybe we don't want to approach the ve- the Vesk and Versies. Maybe maybe that's not something that Cap wants to do. But I think we should at least check up in the situation there. I think it's unavoidable if I show up on Versies though that I'm going to go unnoticed. If you know what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. And Devil Gesh pretty much openly stated, come back, shit's going to go down. Yeah. On the other hand, he ain't home, you know? Mm. It's true. How it's much influence does he have when he's thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away? You know, not miles I away. I technically don't need to show my face coming. as well. I mean, yeah. I just not step foot on Chill in your show. 
Okay. It's boring, but I mean, it's a choice. How much <laughs> do you have within the Vesk? Was that sorry? So how much influence do you have within the Vesk? Uh, like how not. much of a celebrity are you? Probably not. It's... I mean, I think what you're saying is, read out those moves you have. <laughs> that, uh... apply, that apply to the solar system. Yeah. Well, as in, like, you want me to just click on those? Sure, a celebrity. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Whatever you want, sec. As in for actual influence in the Vesk, I would like to like I would like to think very little. Like there might be some people that actually respect me, but like the whole the whole like ambassadorial like job was a joke. Like so yeah. I yeah. Like it wasn't but it wasn't it... actually a place of honour, like almost. It was like a keep in of, mind that would be the people in charge that know that, right? Yeah. Like, it wouldn't necessarily be your grunt on the front line. Ah, like a minion. Like, I could put, like, what I did to that poor engineer. Like, essentially, mm -hmm. like, I did yeah. all my weight with him. Like, whereas, like, anybody that actually had, like, a proper title would probably, like, <laughs> you go put it made some ambassador for saving the enemy. <laughs> yeah. Because that's essentially what happened. Like, like, like for example, Demogage probably does not give a fuck about your celebrityhood. Matva probably does not give a fuck about your celebrityhood, right? But clearly that engineer dude did. Right, so yeah, there's like your example of your influence structure within the Vesk, right? A lot of the higher ups definitely know you were put there as a asset to be activated as and when the Viscarium needed you. Let's face it. But yeah. for realistic terms, you were put there because you saved the enemy and they didn't give a fuck about you, right? Exactly. Which somehow translated to being a celebrity of the galaxy. But <laughs> it works. It's a good, it's a good, I mean, War hero, right? I mean, I, yeah, I mean, if you're trying to, like, fucking stop a war or whatever, like, here's one of our men saving your men! He's a hero! You should love him! Mm -hmm. it's, oh, it's a good publicity stunt. A bit like how the, uh, the Bone Sages were the first to sign the Pact Worlds Agreement. I know many people would chew that up in real life. Mm. Like, that sort of shit. Like, mm -hmm. chew that right up. Like, right. That's basically just how the masses work. Like, because like, maybe, scary, right? right? Maybe had you been still in your position... Right, and Absalom wasn't exploded. Like, perhaps Domogesh would have looped you in, right? On yeah, the supposed been, like, civil war. Yeah, I would have probably been a tool for it. I would have probably been right, boys. Like, when I see this, this is when shit's going to go down. Mm. Well, you're in one of the best positions to yeah. do shit for the inside. Like. Do you know I mean? So, like, obviously, the Vesks saw value in putting me where you were. So, yeah, mm. I would say that. Your celebrity thing just applies as it does with MD, right? Like, it's just... Even though we as, like, the meta-knowledge people know that the higher-ups did it because it was politically convenient to put you there, I am, as the diplomatic corps, as we called it, even if it was a corps of one. Let me say MD, I saw that as less, right? <laughs> there was That's probably really a... That's really only by the way. Like, but... to do with an actual... There was probably a like an administrator somewhere on like Absalom that got a promotion, right? Because they managed to sign you as like an ambassador, right? Like that type of because they facilitated it, even though they had nothing to do with it, it was the vest going, This is a great chess move. It, that guy probably got a massive promotion because it's like, Oh my god, you're the person that established diplomatic ties to the, the Viscarium. Amazing. And it probably was nothing to do with that at all. So yeah. But yeah, why? What was um weird thinking with that? I guess I was just wondering whether it would be of interest to reach out to like-minded Vesk that don't get on with Demogish, um, and recognize so the greater threats. Start a civil war. Yes. Isn't that <laughs> Nico? Remind me, was it stop what? a Vesk civil war part of your plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't want my people killing themselves. Like, yeah, but if, they'll stole my people at the end of the day. Like, you don't, don't need a civil do. war if you can execute a coup effectively. And what that, you're saying is we don't need your civil war. But this yeah. is like the equivalent of like a sergeant try to take on the admiral. I mean, like, like don't know a if you've lot of the history books. To become emperor in Rome, and mm -hmm. it always worked out well. And just look at how many like dictatorships across, you know. Particularly during the, the 50s to 80s. So, how many of those were started by junior officers? 
Let's, no, let's, agree. let's yeah, unpack this a bit, yeah. right? So here's what Weird is proposing. Try and use celebrity Zora, right? War hero Zora, valid, right? To mm -hmm. readjust the administration at the top of the military for the VESC. Mm -hmm. Who are you putting in charge? Zora? Uh. Oh, God, I no. mean, <laughs> <laughs> so we need him. I am probably the most open-minded Vesk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we we need a filthy centrist. Yeah, who would appeal to both sides. The drag queen. I mean, we could always introduce the drag queen to Demogesh. <laughs> One of them will kill the other. That is valid. Well resolving an issue. <laughs> uh, Somebody will, that, yeah. Bringing up with Groukin isn't a terrible idea. It's almost a good yeah. publicity stunt for her as well, isn't it, right? Like, yes, and... that's the thing. It does actually help fulfil what we... It makes her the peace-loving Drow Queen that's trying to take back her empire and like, bring... Yeah, like... But so equally, we would introduce her to the power players and, you know... She's also a fairly strong-minded figure who might... Yeah, you know, make Demogesh think twice about, you know, the change in political order in the system. Yeah, let's look yeah, at that. Good idea, actually. Let's idea. let's look at that in terms of you know the dropping color into the clear water pot that is the galaxy of political systems. Mm -hmm. So currently, the Vesk seem to be dying dying the uh, the galaxy's map a bit, right? And yep. that seems to be fine, right? The blue of the stewards is being wiped out by like the green of the Vesk. But, yeah, the drow, the wonderful purple of the drow, maybe, maybe putting a queen not so amped up on radiation, right? Back in a position of political sway. Maybe radicalising or de-radicalising all the other drow that mm. the mm. other queen obviously must not be. Like, who's in charge of the drow right now, right? So... As an actual Drow Queen. No. We control so, the Drow, drow queen. queen, if you know what I mean. Therefore, we control Same the drow. drow. So, obviously, besides Lyco's very, what's the word, um, jish way of explaining that, the yous have a relationship with a Drow Queen, and yous could, by proxy, have sway over a Drow because of that. Thus, putting the map a bit more purple than green. And would that buy you time to do something, or would it just be fodder for the Viscarium movement? Who knows? But it's not the worst thing to keep in mind, either. So like, that you know, the pages. Was, it's like, that's basically what it's getting open to, though. Like, maybe I'll, like, I don't know if you went to, like, Versus and started this stuff, it would basically be day, like, hide behind the scenes shit anyway. Like, you Mm. Kind of like. Depends if you went public with the drag queen. Yeah, that's what I mean. If we went public with the drag queen, I don't yeah. know, believe I'm saying this, but it's basically fucking like declaring political war on Demogesh. What is this game you've created? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually um, um, it's, a, it's a game of civilization I've been playing every week. By the way, I've just renamed all the factions. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's essentially what we'd be doing if we went open. Like that. I mean, I'm cool with it. I mean, it could be fun, right? I mean, it could be a cool be. And keep in mind, official, officially, right? <laughs> officially, the Viscarium don't want to cause war in the pack world, remember? That was their official wording because they're mm -hmm. fighting the swarm. And that is going as well as the PR people will tell you. Um, so, you don't really want to be pulling more Vesk into the system because that's kind of writing off the Viscarium, right? It's maybe another reason why Craig is in this galaxy, or this solar system, not the other one. Because the Viscarium um, has that problem, you know? You've then got Demogesh who has a bu like loads of Vesk under his command here. He is in command of the Vesk presence of this system, the Pact World system. So that's a big deal. He is the Vesk of the system, as it were. Top of the pyramid. Matva kind of works in between both factions, right? She's outside the bubble, in a way. The triangle bubble, that is. Um, so... Mm -hmm. 
if you wanted to then start using Matva or the Drug Queen or Babak, you don't need to be public about that, remember? Nobody knows you have the Drug Queen except every single person in Daza. <laughs> <laughs> right? But, I don't know. Yeah, but they don't really know, they just know we have a Drow. I, I feel like I would have to be a part of it as well, though. Because, like, if Big Vest guy comes along and just turns around and says, Oh, this guy's actually trying to start a lot of remember, this guy is Gap Hero. A it's lot a good people, way to... I mean, this is something we explained to her, right? Mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of people won't know she exists. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that does lend itself to a surreptitious sort of uh, thing because. This is a we found the true air story now as well, isn't it? Like, yeah. <laughs> She's got to work behind the scenes to establish her legitimacy. How do you think you can get her to be legitimate, though? What's the plan for that, if that was, again, in this hypothetical timeline we're creating? We kind of have to... I mean, she won't see it as something she has to establish. Of course. Which is part of the problem. <laughs> she, um, she's, she's old enough. We can just, like, carbon date her. So. Yeah. Uh, we <laughs> give her to... That wouldn't work, because Gap. Um, we... Give her to the drought. We go to the drought? Do we go to Apostate? That's far away. I mean, it's a couple of planets over from, like, Eox, right? If we, if we wait for its orbit to line up perfectly. Yeah, but realistically, it's a D6 away, right? Let's face it. Yeah. So yeah, it's, the game, man. Yeah. We've rolled, like, a 6 gone for fucking Versus to Akaton, like, so... <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> It's just the, the the orbits were far away, right? The orbits. Yeah, yeah exactly. The exactly. orbit. The I mean, other side of the sun. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I guess that is what the one is six thing is. It's like only a solar system and planets do move. You could yeah. the one is when they're actually aligned pretty damn well. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's it's fair, right? It's it's stupid yeah. space travel. It's it's dumb, but whatever. Like I don't mind it. Um. So there's that, right? So you could try and just turn up at a posty and be like. Hello, Dark Elves. We have your queen. Let's introduce you to your lord and saviour, Thanaida. Also, we got a lot of radiation for you to get jacked on. Here you go. <laughs> We've got a rad egg, man. Well, maybe the first step actually is to do a bit behind the scenes to establish her legitimacy. Like, contact people in various levels of sort of political power and say, look, I think if I were going to go with us, probably heard things are weird with the drow. That's because the previous queen is dead, and they go, "Oh yes, we have heard that rumor." Well, did you know this? Uh, the 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 events of her death led to the escape of her imprisoned elder sister. Aha! You know, uh, we can we can we can use the fact that people probably are pretty aware now that the drow queen is dead, right? Mm -hmm. I would think that's Probably unaccounted for. Yes, I think that's something that's probably not if, too. If they go into time. her throne ship and see the pile of goo, where her clothes are like on the floor. Hamani's probably told a few of his allies, right? Oh, Hamani one hundred percent will have boasted about that, right? Dragon mm -hmm. Eagle. Like, so come on, yeah. At the highest political levels of uh, the Pact of the Worlds, at the very least, there must be an awareness that the Drow Queen is probably dead. But obviously, um, how much will they try to quell that so there isn't a massive chaos with all of the draw across the galaxy, right? She does, like, DNA testing and all that shit in this day and age. I mean, it's keep in mind, really... the vault was based on DNA, so, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Um, so, That's why Hermione uh, drags uh, the queen, right? Yeah. This woman is obviously yeah, dragging like, oh, her because of my DNA test. Like, <laughs> DNA test. This is where we find out she's no relation was. <laughs> She's just been uh, crazy the whole time. Uh, she's like the stepsister. She's a stepsister. <laughs> she, she could still be in the line of succession. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm. has she given you any reason to not trust her? I don't trust that. Not really. I, no, I do I trust don't. that. Like, So, I mean, I, I, I think we do need to do something with her. Um, I don't not trust her in general. I think she's fuck crazy, but like she's openly crazy. <laughs> yes. She's got mm -hmm. fun with the crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah I'd agree with that. Like, she hasn't been dishonest. She's held her word. It's just that the methodology has been questionable. Hmm. That's exactly the way I feel about it. I mean, I had to uh, trust her, and I feel like she would probably have her back if she was there in a situation. That's a lovely picture, Alex. 
and yeah. um, I also think if the if you put her back in a position she thought was worthy of herself, that's probably going to do you guys well, right? In her eyes, because if you do that for her, she'll probably feel somewhat indebted. So I guess it seems like a hell of a lot. Like, Don't tell her that. No, never like, tell her that. No, never let her think that. that about herself first. <laughs> so tackle the yeah. double guess problem. I guess is what we came to I mean, so what about? We, I think I think we know what the pressing concern of Cap. I think we know what my pressing concerns are. Mm -hmm. what, what what about weird? What about Zed? Yeah. What, what to them is the the thing? This is kind of personally just, or as yeah. A so group. let's let's go with weird first, right? Weird dragon, you don't need shit really. Right, so <laughs> we'll focus on where we are just now. So we've got Akaton and we've got mm -hmm. the new junk rats, right? So I feel like that if that isn't at the forefront of your mind, it shouldn't be a goal. Right, so I feel like that yep. probably is, yeah, that's probably tied into the money, but I uh, maybe start there. Yeah, that's a very practical thing as well of looking at, hey, we need to get allies, we feel quite alone in this. Mm -hmm. um, and I think particularly having spoken to a query mm -hmm. and mindful of all these mistakes that are on the table, it's kind of like, why do this alone? And the new junk grants may be amateur hour to a certain extent, but they're helpful. They're helpful, and it would be nice to be have to have someone in our corner that isn't an institutional political player. Yes, Not all amateur hour, but together, <laughs> yeah, together, because like we're strong. <laughs> the, the queen's like a forgotten chess piece, right? That's why yeah. like, she still comes under that umbrella, sadly. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, it is. It would, yeah, it is strong. It would be nice to have um, some of it, isn't? I mean, CC is kind of unpolitically focused, right? <laughs> So and focus, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, Self-focused, right? I've been mean, seeing uh, for interest and stuff, really. He is wholly apolitical. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, there's, uh, I think, just a vibe of let's get some people on our side. Even if it's to do the lower tier stuff, then we don't have to split our focus so much. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully most people will be on board once we explain we're trying to save everything. Yeah. Um things could happen. Yeah. And also Develop. this is a this is also a crew that can regularly provide us with links to equipment potentially. Um yeah. So yeah just generally they're a very pragmatic logistics source. And, and also I think there's that point of query having said, you know, the mistakes that were made and things. Mm -hmm. And we'd kind of looking back and going, just kind of from a very personal level of Oh, I've fallen out of contact with these people. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah, funny thing in all this is, is like this whole time me and Lyco have been like stalking about looking for jobs, looking for equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, the person was right in front of us. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I've been seeing it for the last two or three sessions as well, just over the actually been in the same place. <laughs> yeah, I think it's valid, no. right? Plus, yeah. right on top of that, right? You've also got the fact that Weird has a new perspective given his interactions with query and his almost like sneak peek at the folly of that timeline and he's mm. made he's doing what he can to obviously change how he would maybe normally approach things which is interesting because yeah who knows where that will lead in terms of greater outcomes and i think yeah being able to automate things in this game for you guys might not be the worst mm. like you have an option to start setting up multiple bases, not just one, multiple. Yeah. You have technically a foothold in Versus, even if it's a horribly covered in barbed wire right now foothold um, to get back to, but you do have the potential Akaton foothold if you can get Craig to part with his home, or set up <laughs> new lodgings somewhere on Akaton, right? Um, like, Ramazetha doesn't seem to be in a rush to leave anywhere, right? And it seems like they've been crashed there for weeks and weeks, right? Um, Castravel has a giant empty palace, might be a little haunted. What? What's that, right? So, you can deal with some ghosts. ghosts. So, so yeah, besides ghosts that try and drown people, like, yeah, what's the... So, and those planets are in a nice little triangle on their map, so mm -hmm. really, you have that as a potential 
But it we... about safe, but anyway. There's no pool there anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> that, that's fine. <laughs> no. Yeah, it strikes me that securing that is an area that we can operate in freely would be yeah. helpful. Because you could oh. realistically loop in, right, if you had to. We shall steal the sun. Yeah. Just... This seems like. We shall it. use the sun to kill. Um, yeah, just throw the sun. Zig. Uh... Bank shot it off tracks. Elk turn. Okay, so is there any more to the the weird agenda? Um, I think he's also, yeah, he's conflicted because there's, as I said, there's the point on being less self reliant. Mm -hmm. um, but then what does but that mean? There's... So if we've got new junk rats, right? We'll cover new junk rats, and mm. what is your take on the queen? Because that this is all Akaton stuff right now. So yeah, like what what's weird? immediate plan with the Queen then because that's the other factor of Akaton. Um I think I think he's been caught up in the party business, but I think there's a point bubbling kind of linked to the visions of Query mm. that the Queen needs to get her head out of her her ass and see the bigger picture here. Yeah. Um that has valid. Yeah. So yeah. There's gonna be some frank words there I think. Um I think again, it's important, but, yeah like because if she's going to be part of this, yeah. she needs to take on that, like you have yeah. tried to, even though you are over mm -hmm. here and the plot seems to be over here. Um, yeah. Which I, I get, these are all trying to keep space as far apart as uh, possible. But yeah, like that's it's valid, I think, is try and see what you can do with the Queen as opposed to... But leaving her in Akaton, right? I guess. Or, yeah, no. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he still intends to fulfil what was discussed, um, if possible. So, um, it's, but hopefully give her a decent perspective on it. Mm -hmm. or, you know, talk her around to cooperation at the very least. Um, and once you've dealt with that, then we can go to the you know kicking chunks out of each other. What about um, then? All right, so once. Your business, like what would wrap up the business Nakaton, right? What do you think? So, meeting new junk rats and establishing some kind of relationship with them, right? We've got that. Yep. So, no, you want to do that. But then, what else do you care about getting done on? Uh, well, actually, a point in the new junk rats is teaming up to work on Lyco's project of stealing the phylactery. Right, cool. Um, because that is a useful resource to get back one of the few people who seems to know what's going on. Sindial. Um Yep. Yes. Yeah, mm. get Sindial back. Um, there is a part <clears> of with is conflicted in that he wants to deal with the Vesk uh -huh. almost from a more Android uh abolitionist perspective. Uh -huh. Not that not that I think he's in his current form ever been part of the Android abolitionist movement. Uh -huh. But uh the Vesk can go yeah, take a jump. Uh, yeah. in his perspective. <laughs> Uh, the Vesk Empire, specifically. Uh, yeah, not, not Zora, the Viscarium. <laughs> the Viscarium uh, has some some issues. Uh, They've got yeah. the name system. Mm -hmm. Don't need to. Yeah, and they shouldn't even have that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we can't get that good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, he's got political motives against them. So it's kind of a, if we can deal with that on the way to dealing with everything else, that's good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think that's one of the reasons he's kind of, that I would put forward the suggestion of getting some Vesk on board. Uh -huh. Partly to be like, they're not this monolithic force that we have to hate all of them. Agreed. But also because again, if we can have the Vesk on Perseus or whatever side with us, then that's another core group of allies that we can have in battle. Yep. Um, and we could put off the fight with Demogesh, potentially, mm -hmm. and do it with the big bad. That might even like reduce Demogesh's resources significantly if you could get yeah. um, verses on your side, right? Because the majority of the Vesk presence is in verses. Yeah, and also then if we were to then do anything to Demogesh, then the Veskarim are unlikely to be able to retaliate because we'd have their forces here on our side mm. and they're quite a distance away yeah so plus how many people chaos. might be eager in the viscarium 
presence here might be mm. eager to go back home and fight the fight against the swarm, right? Yeah. Right. Like there, there is that as a valid point, right? They're here and they're probably yeah. like, but we, we have to be here and not fight, whereas we could be at home fighting. Mm -hmm. That probably doesn't sit well with a bunch of people. So, yeah, I think there's quite a few angles there, but I think that's it's kind of quite pragmatic. What would you, that. as weird, do then? Once you've wrapped up Agaton, is it versus or is it Yorks? Um, I think we could probably hit versus on the way to Eorks, almost to give, if, assuming we've made more allies, we can set some allies to do some prep for Eorks, and we could deal with kind of some social business in versus first. Um, just because if we've made any gains in Akaton and Castrovel, um, leaving them vulnerable to interference from Verses or, you know, losing this opportunity while Demogesh is away. Mm -hmm. It seems misguided. Um, I guess it's a point on consolidation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and consolidating on this side of the diaspora would be mm -hmm. handy and easily defensible. Because uh, we don't know how long Demogesh is going to be off, off Verses. Or what he's even doing over there with Tectonis, yeah. right? So... Yeah. yeah. So I'm kind of like, we should probably go after Percy's, but, you know, set a bunch of our new allies on dealing with preparations for Eox. Yeah, and if, oh, you, and if you have to fight, say, for example, the Eoxian fleet that Tectolanus commands, ideally having a Vesk fleet of your own wouldn't be the worst, right? Yeah. Um. So there is that angle too. Uh, okay, yeah, I like that. Zig, the moment you've been dreading the whole conversation. Oh, um... <coughs> Talk us through see, your plan. Uh, Zig's plan. Uh, kill everyone and uh, take over the galaxy. Probably um, the easiest plan there is, actually, out of everybody's. Yeah. Honestly. Um, I'm poor. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. I think having... A, a lot of Zig's focus is very egg-based. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Currently. <laughs> That's valid. Um, um, and unfortunately, like he's not gonna really. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere with the whole Edgar thing and the blonde lady because, well, unless the blonde lady just shows up, which would be convenient. But um, <clears throat> well, isn't the isn't the current <clears throat> thoughts that she's currently shooting at the dead people? Uh, well, yes, fucking but <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I feel like that, that, that's Callum dudes. Mm -hmm. um, so what would um, wrap up Akaton then for Zig, right? What is the what else needs to be done in Akaton then? Either. Um <laughs> enjoyed that. Either, right, either um getting blonde woman okay. to uh, that's quite immediate, yeah. Fairly fairly shortly. Um get blonde woman woman to kind of figure out what the, 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 the fuck's going on with Edgar, which would um, possibly give um, stuff about Hamani. <clears throat> um, or, get possession of the rad egg, which is not going to happen because it's it's radiation-based um, and it's going to kill us all. A big um, lead box? I mean... Have we got a big lead box? Because that'd be good. I mean, we got a big lead box, right? I feel like a box that would stop radiation is quite easy to come by, right? Like, I don't think that's going to be that difficult in the yeah, sci-fi like fantasy yeah. space future. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would suggest like... turning up to the new Junkrats and saying, we would like to hire you to steal the center of Daza. Yeah, oh and, and also the it. energy I mean... source for the world, basically. No, I mean, not yeah. quite, but yeah, um, it, it is. But I, I feel like it's... <laughs> if, if, um, if, uh, the, the eggs are being collected it's probably better to have more eggs than the other guy so oh Nancy we... just take them from us but then you shouldn't put all your <laughs> eggs in one basket so exactly can I just cringe a bit at that and then go to the part where the egg hasn't been taken yet right and the solar egg was taken from the throne ship right Mm -hmm. By Urgalas. Solar egg's been taken from the throne ship, from the 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 temple as well, and from flipping 
And now it's, it's been taken Not. from the weird trip back to the graduation day episode yes, where okay. he just went back to the solar temple. So that means is Urgalas down the egg he had? Question mark. So there's that. Then there is Himani took the void egg. Mm hmm. And the assumption is Himani's on Traxxas, right? Yeah. If if it was to be anywhere in the galaxy, I, I guess the assumption is Traxxas. I think everybody's in agreement with that, yeah? Like, dragons, I'm, Traxxas, I'm, yeah. Actually, yep. Cool. Mm. Nah, actually, nah. Nah, this is snake, isn't it? Because he also said, when you want paid, come see me on Traxxas. Mm. So there was that. Full of snakes. Mm hmm. On a plane. Wormholes probably as well. Wormholes everywhere. Snakes and a fucking wormhole. And then, <laughs> then you've got Tectalanus and Demoga seem to be there too. So if Matva is aware of the stuff going on in Octurn that may or may not have been caused by Urgolath because of stuff Urgolath has or had is that maybe why Tectalanus is going to try and incite the Vesk with the dragon that has the Void Egg? Right? All completely potential. You see? So, no one's came for this egg. What does that tell you? It's inconvenient. Right? That's that's one. You need the other eggs to get the egg. It's it's an egg. Uh, or it's not necessary. It may it may have some effect on the others, but it may not be required. Right. That's true. For other people' purposes. I think it's possible. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe they forgot about it. There's that, right? Maybe nobody knows about it, right? I mean, Ramaseth, who's the one who remembers things, right? So. Maybe she's one of the few people that knew that was what that was, right? Mm. Um, obviously, who would stop them taking it if somebody wanted it? Akaton has nothing. Like, yeah. So, it's interesting. Just depends on if you're happy with the ramifications of the... Uh, the uh, ah. the egg being removed from Daza, given the religious prevalence of the radiation. Well, there is that. We could just replace it with a fake egg. Okay. So what might? Where are you getting a fake egg? That's we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But isn't um, that the bridge you're trying to get people to cross now? So, yeah, this is the yeah. wrap-up Akaton storyline, remember? So, you said that Zig's focused on getting the third egg. I, I, think, he, I think he wants to know about the third, the third egg. Um, and I, I, but my, my initial point was I don't know, I don't think he's going to be able to get that off anyone on Akaton anyway. Maybe Ramasethu, but, but quite frankly, talking to Bone Sages is not um, Zig's... Mm -hmm. favourite thing or 40 or something he quite plans on doing often okay but then like yeah let's what about if we unpack that as a team then right because obviously that's what we've done with everybody else what's everybody else's thoughts on the threg as you have called it the rad egg the threg oh, well I mean the gold egg we know it's obviously bad news we kind of don't well know what it's all about yet but that's gotta go um, down, right? It's the fucking void egg. What, what's in that, right? What's in that? Can't be good. Void. So, there's our egg collection so far, apparently. I mean, I've basically like been going through the whole assumption, like, with the eggs, is like, people like Urgalas, it's just like, can't be good, right? Mm. Probably best they, like, saw that out. I still don't know why, like, Zora is all of a sudden, like, this fucking galactic hero, but <laughs> it's fine, man, like, 
<laughs> it's because it's a Ryan game and I don't do small quests. <laughs> I never expected to become a political mogul either, but uh, here we are. Yeah. Yeah. It just like doesn't seem like it's good due to it. And like, the several walls, there's fucking <laughs> void eggs, probably void dragons and fucking like sun dragons and shit, right? Like, who knows? Can we call the sun dragons with the egg? I mean, I don't know. Can you? No, I don't Technically, know. Technically, one of the party asking. has met somebody related to that, right? And everybody should be looking at weird at that point. Weird. I was thinking, yeah. I was like, yeah, is this weird? Yeah, yeah, because he's been, he's been mm -hmm. here and done this. Like, before, mm -hmm. possibly. <laughs> to, thanks to <laughs> the, uh, the, the time. Mm-hmm. Lovely, lovely. lovely. Because yeah, the team things. Nyx delivered the egg. Aha, uh -huh. to the vault. The solar mm -hmm. egg. To yes. the vault. Not the void egg. The time wibbly wobbly egg, as far as you're concerned. <laughs> time hole. Mm -hmm. The time Wait. hole. So, yeah, that's a thing, and. You seen Grace there, as well. Grace in the light of burning. But... Mm. As I said, I he delivered the solar egg to the vault. But when we went to the vault, it was the void egg there. You say. Uh, when you yeah. went to, you delivered uh, the, yeah, the solar egg to. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> a younger, radiant supreme man. Yeah. And who wasn't the Radiant Supreme at the time, and the, the, the then Radiant Supreme, Grace. Your Grace, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then her sorrow at the whole thing, and just went into a vault. Mm -hmm. Remember, the vault is the generic term for where people store stuff, okay. but they have yep. their own vaults, as it were. Yep. Um, and it was the Drow Queen's vault that the Void Egg was in. Yes. But that mm -hmm. was, if you remember back to way at the start when Edgar Wesland was offering you guys jobs and you took the job to go get Esky instead of the job to go work out why the Black Dragon was trying to start a war with the Drow because he got embarrassed because his stuff got stole from him by the Drow. I don't mm. know if you remember that, but that was seated way back there. I do. Then yeah. perhaps <laughs> Himani had the Void Egg originally. Mm. Or he took it. From the it certainly sounds like, yeah, I think that. So, assumption. yeah. So that's kind of the reminder of that part of the plot, because my god, a lot has happened in this game. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, it's been like seven sessions, right? Right, at least. Uh, yeah. I... Mm. Of actual <laughs> RP, maybe. <laughs> wow, wow. I mean, I'm not going to say we're an hour and twenty minutes in. Uh, no, uh, don't, because we're an hour and 30, uh, 27, um, but yeah. Is that correct? Well, how dare you? Nearly 28, but that's fine. Um, so, there's that, right? What else uh, do we have in play then, right? So, Zig, right? We've got those th factors, right? There's the third egg situation, and does anybody else have any thoughts about third egg? Right, I really what? don't know what to think about it. I'll be honest with you. It's obviously a powerful energy source. Um, what exactly its role is, why people haven't gone for it when it is obviously more vulnerable than others. The obvious solution is it's perhaps not as important to them. Potentially. But does that mean it shouldn't be as important to us? Mm. Don't know. <laughs> yeah, so right. really, yeah. my, my stance is... Ah! Well, why don't you roll some kind of Science skill for me, Lyco. Oh, okay. Uh, so we've got what physical sides? Sure. Excuse me. That. Yeah. Nine. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's that's what you know. It's about it. Just no. <laughs> It's a big, it's a big important egg to the power station. That's about mm. it, right. That's yeah. it. Like yeah. Ramesses, basically sure that's said, what I'd expect, you know. Yeah, it's the egg seems to be the Duracell battery that powers the power station of Daza, 
and as I said, anyone that's been smart enough to build any form of infrastructure has built power lines out to other settlements, right? Um, it's just that they're often attacked because the energy is obviously surplus, thus they, they can power really whatever they wanted from Daza. So why bother building anything else, right? Just build tunnels and cables. But yeah, no, I don't think Lyco knows much about that. Okay, right, so Fair. if that's the thoughts on the third egg, Sig, right? So let's say you you can get the egg. What then? I, f I feel like... Uh, it's going to annoy me, but I feel like the Radiant Supreme would have, like, answers. I just know he's not good at giving answers. <laughs> To get back to the um, righteous pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> Boy, such a genuine frustration. <laughs> I feel like a lot of these problems and questions could just be answered if the Radiant Supreme would just go, oh, by the way, here. But he doesn't and he won't. But I feel like we're going to have, Zig's going to have to kind of either deal with that or just go no I'm not dealing with this ever in his head but I think at the back of the mind he probably does need slash want to confront that. Right so more for Callum's benefit than Zig's benefit 100% is the Radiant Supreme there for something for Zig to deal with yes. Yes. From a plot point of view yes. Much like how Query is for weird and how Demogesh is for Zora, and how weirdly everything else seems to be for Lyco. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. It's more about how much you've been willing to throw your shoulders into something, quite frankly. Um, uh -huh. Oh, me and my shoulder boy. So, <laughs> he said, see you later, boy. No. Boy. Anyway, so. Right, you get the egg, or you go and speak to the Radiant Supreme. What's the plan then? Egg with you or not with you, right? So, like, what's what's next mm -hmm. step? Is it just put the radiation egg in the temple and hope nobody notices? Hope nobody dies. <laughs> 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 or just, like, just keep it there and go, like, well, well it's, you know... Um, I, I, don't, I, still think, I still think the, uh, no the temple burns. is not the safest place for any of the eggs. Press yeah. eggs See, not die. That's where, you know, it keeps getting stolen from. Including yeah. by me. Yes. Um, press eggs not to die. Yep, yep. Mm. Press eggs not to die. Yep. Um, it's when you find that this was just a secret Easter game. Um, <laughs> and it, you just finish it when you find all the eggs. And the um, um, the Easter bunny is the villain. Who's Christ in this? Uh, I think we know. Me, yeah. Um, I was going to say Urgolas, but yeah, look, I guess. I rose again after three days! <laughs> That's literally <laughs> true. <laughs> literally true. Anyway, I my backstory is a deliberate joke. <laughs> anyway, beyond beyond that, right? So, Zig, what would you hopefully learn from the Radiant Supreme? Um, mostly what the actual fuck the eggs are for, um, why they exist, and why they're like you know obviously, um, well I guess maybe Zig doesn't know, but um, they obviously put a lot of effort in trying to keep them safe and or what and are there more eggs are there less eggs are there more eggs now because I've stolen it from time yes you know mm. and then obviously it was it was Radiant Supreme who talked about Octarum wasn't it yes he appeared yes. to you and said the stranger has awoken uh huh mm -hmm. I think I think literally I think what Zig would have to do is just get a straight answer out of him about all of this <laughs> mess. Have the written supreme explain the game to Zig. Um... Yeah. Like I feel like I'm being controlled. <laughs> and okay. this this world is but a game. Um um but no I like I, I feel like he he Okay, so Zig, let, let, on the egg front, like, kind of get like, or or somebody, um, can go over the Radiant Supreme's head or whatever, or then you know, become Radiant Supreme. I don't know. Okay, okay. So, 
Zig's first plan is wrap up Akaton that may or may not involve ripping out the radiation egg from Yeah. But more 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 importantly, blonde blonde woman okay. Edgar Johnson's. Right, cool. And once that's wrapped up, you wanna then go get answers from the Radiant Supreme. Yes. Right. So that's at the solar monastery on the sun, okay. Mm-hmm. And then I where? I feel like that, like what for Zig, like that would. Um... I mean, keep in mind, you currently have multiple ships. Be... There's no reason why you technically need to go to the same place at the same time. Ryan says, oh, "Hoping exactly. to fuck, you all go to the same place." Yeah. I think it would be wise that we did because fuck that. I don't know. I, I I'm not sure about ordering, but like I I still feel like getting the the queen into to sort of well maybe not into power but into like her own two feet as opposed to yeah we don't need to be being up with us you know um, she does have she, she does have a ship that seems to run itself right so that's at least an option yeah but I feel like we we'd need to put in some form of um, groundwork to introduce her into the, the the politics of this world uh, with this world this solar mm-hmm, system mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, right because otherwise she's just going to go around telling people she's a queen and no one's going to believe the fuck she's saying it's probably going to rip a lot of people's throats out if that's the case as well so well yeah and that's not going to look good for PR no I don't know if you even care at this point because like our monarchies in like the future like, right like, mm-hmm. like, like a queen what about the streets off oh. <laughs> I mean, they, they did have a queen, so mm-hmm. it's not like they've gone yeah, no, democratic and exactly then been like cutting about the streets. Gone, I'm the queen. No, she was I cutting think... about vaults and solar monasteries, hey. stealing eggs, right? So, <laughs> there's no like a public figure you would just see stalking about saying they're the queen, like ever, especially in the future. Like... Mm. Yeah. yeah, interesting. Okay, right. So. Anything else for Zig's plan after the Queen and the Sun and that part, right? So after the Queen's somehow dealt with. Um, the Queen has been dealt with. Uh, I, I, I think really realistically, he he wants to. He doesn't want to deal with the money, but he wants to at least. The the fact that he's got the Void Egg doesn't sit well with with Zig at all. Right. Okay. Because he feels like he's. There, there is, you know, the connection between the eggs and the solar eggs important to him. That so either getting the void egg or doing in Himani is probably on the list. But I don't think that's how Zig would think about it. Mm. I don't think he'd think of it as I need to go kill Himani. I need to, I need to go. But it's something that needs to be dealt with in his mind. At I this think. point, I'm reminded that that artist, while listening to that last session, then messaged me like something like an hour after, maybe two hours after the initial I listened to the first 17 minutes comment you gave me. You then sent me, there's a third egg, all in caps. Um, <laughs> because obviously it was a big deal, but he had, he skipped from like session two to there. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, also, hello again, Jonathan. Um, hello, hello, Jonathan. <laughs> Uh, Hello. So yeah, uh, right. Does that maybe give people some perspective on what the fuck is actually going on in the galaxy? I think this has been a long time coming. This type of chat, and mm. yeah. Oh yes, there's actually a lot more um, going on. Going on in the big universe, you know. It's just. Well, trust me, I do. <laughs> I'm somehow trying to make it go um, <laughs> and remember it all. Um, so. I'm sorry for making a plan, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Goal slot five. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I forgot we were even talking about goals. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, um... <laughs> No, I'm not sorry. That was good. 
It was really good. Sorry. I I think it's good to see wherever these character priorities lie, right? And their player thoughts. Uh Because I think while they might not necessarily line up like player thoughts and character like goals, I think it's worth everybody sharing what their everybody gets off of Akaton and where's the first place people pull towards, right? Um which has been vastly different between the lot of you. Ah. I don't know. So yeah. Like Although, I mean, like, well, a large of similar goals, I guess. Yeah, I think there's been a good method. alignment there, which is pleasing. Mm-hmm. I think, for the most part, everybody wants to resolve the queen. That is something, right? That is something that you resolve don't Resolve her into someone else's hands, yeah. Or, as opposed to dissolve, like the last one. I mean, that... Or off into someone else's hands, or, yeah, like, just... I don't get Steam it. It's a horrible, horrible <laughs> fucking weapon, but just, like, hopefully try and make a... Company speed to everybody else or whatever. Mm. But, yeah, so, I mean, that could be hard. She's a fun queen. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, we always hard to deal with. But then, here, here we go then, right? What does the party want as goal five, right? What is the what is the fifth goal here to try and achieve? What's the next step? Uh, well, it's guess... genuinely a toughie. I'm, not, I'm really not sure what we should make it. Because um, at the moment, you've got just... get money on Akaton. Resolve the healthy boundaries, which really means with the queen, right? Yeah. Goal two. It's my euphemism for yeah. the queen to straighten out. And then you've got hook up with injunct rats. Then you've got prepare for the mission of ego. So all four of those are very strongly akaton. And then we've got is, is this what was the what was the last one? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just typed in. Is this blonde lady? If not, why not? Okay. At the start of like the next like goal, if you know, and post Akaton, mm-hmm. like maybe like for next destination or something, get mm-hmm. the verses, get the orgs. I mean, I'm cool with getting verses to be honest. We all made some good points, but I'm cool with. We could work it. Thank you. Like we could work it. So is that get the queen and get to your? Uh, you know what you could say versus. Yeah, get the get the queen and get the orgs. I have no <laughs> the orgs. Other ones. Versus. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> versus. I, 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 think, I think we meet versus our waypoint uh, on the way to orgs. I think we use uh, Zig, uh, not Zig. Sorry, Zig. Weird uh, staff. <laughs> let's call them that. Um, and we. <sighs> And I think we also sort of trying to do uh, the the sort of the idea we had between us. I think was that we could maybe automate a bit the the the, the sort of uh, automate the wrong word. Oh, no, sorry, yeah, it's, I'm it's, tripping. I think automate is fine. But yeah. the idea we could set things in motion so that we don't personally have to be involved in everything. I think it's called automate. Uh, that we could. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's not necessarily automated because it's still people doing it it's just not us people um so see this is so, a tight for goal five here which is get queen's foot in the door in versus what does that mean basically get the queen and like introduce her maybe to Bavak who could maybe like introduce her to some of the like bastards that fled the versus or something after Akaton possibly maybe and- I guess to who? The ambassador, sorry, did you say? Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like that's maybe our best bet, right? Is to maybe, like, well, maybe Baba. I think best bet is, like, introduce her to, like, Baba. He seemed like he'd have maybe have some pull. To, like, so you hear, here's some of the ambassadors that came here. We have a talk to them. I mean, yeah, it might not be the worst idea to introduce. I mean, I think I did say that earlier to, or to the stewards. Um, partly because I think. With the stewards' role, it's they're not just police, right? They're they're sort of enforcing the pack. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, oh, you okay? Yeah, no, sorry, my brain. Just would have to recognise it as well if she was actually able to succeed. Yeah, she well. she would have to sort of at least be accepted by them as uh, who she is, as as you know, leader of our people um, before. She could like. I don't think you can rule uh, in the packed worlds without at least the sort of the nod of the stewards. Uh, I'm not saying that they're you know like oh they're the real power, but they're they are the guys who are sort of upholding the pack, right? So 
if 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 she wants to assume her place, she's going to need to uh, get their acquiescence, and mm -hmm. they're not going to give her it if they don't have a fucking clue who she is. Yeah, I think that's valid, and I think as well maybe the feasibility of having like a singular drow monarch try and take over the spread out drow like tribes for lack of a better word, right? Um, drow cells maybe is what I want to say. Um, cells. That sounds more sinister. But it would be given how weirdly sinister Starfinder makes the drow anyway. So. Because they're all weird arms dealers, according to this system. By uh... an entire race of arms dealers. Yep. That's not weird. Just limbs everywhere. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, that's not the worst idea. Uh, Babak might just say, I have too much to deal with, who the hell is this bin? But, like, that's maybe mm. something to deal with, as and when, right? As you are already flying away, I'm sorry, it's your problem, no, bye. Um, the kumst bint. So... Again, not to horribly stress it, but again, if need be, you could always make arrangements to eventually meet on Versus, and you could take two ships in different locations to do other things, right? If you had to. There's no reason to say we can't RP going to the Sun, or RP going to Castrovel, or going to Apostate, or going to Versus, or going to Eox, and or even Triaxis, and doing what you Only need to do. Only if we're forced, Only if we're forced yeah. I guess. Because like... keep in mind, if you can get the 11th hour up and running, you have three ships. Yeah, I mean, it's not. Like should ship. technically be running through time because it was paid for, right? Uh, no, <laughs> I was not paid for the repairs. The no. the storage was paid for. Use right, right. then had to pay for repairing it and getting it back on its feet. Um, we totally made some like androids run that show for us, and we've got like fat wads of cash when we get our stone. <laughs> Ivy has eaten the ship and just made a million hats. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we definitely need to get Ivan back, go oh, man. That's like, oof, yeah. get the verses. Right, that's that's number five. Get the verses and get Ivan. Yeah, <laughs> Ivan. He is one of the. That's fair because I think he's incredibly useful. <laughs> he's part of the crew, Definitely. right? He is part of the crew. That's like leaving a man mm -hmm. behind, man. That's just unacceptable. So is that goal five? Then <laughs> get the verses and get Ivan. Queen can go fucking say um... he was there first. He's the king of the U.S. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody type it in for me then. Let's put it as goal five. Never have I ever spent as much time on goals, but I think it was a. Just a nice catch-up review, to be honest. I think it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time needed, so I am going to suggest a specific session title at the end that I'll get to near the end. Why don't we take, right, a little five-minute break now that we've put our goals in. I need a piss. <laughs> and then we'll do some RP. Yes, we'll treat it as a part two. And, but... uh, yeah, right, so this is this has been part <laughs> one. I ever day, take a wee five-minute break, and then... We'll come back. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Goodbye. Dr. Nick. <laughs>